I'm Major Paul Rivera and the AAV Survivability Upgrade Project Team Lead. What we have behind here is the SU itself. Uh, what I'll focus in on here is we have the force protection upgrade, which is the foundation of this actual platform. So what we've done is we've actually replaced the EEC armor and brought out buoyant ceramic armor that serves two purposes. One, to bring back that reserve buoyancy to include the same armor protection that the current uh, AAV uh, Ram RS has right now. Underneath the, you have the underneath the body of the vehicle. We've got about a two two and a quarter inch uh, ballistic armor panel that's been put up underneath it. Uh, to include also we've gotten rid of the linear shocks and replaced it with rotary dampeners. To the rear of the vehicle we've uh, replaced out the old legacy uh, water jets. Uh, the cover's actually closed right now but uh, you've got in here a new water jet uh, is projected to push out uh, more than what we currently are pushing in the water right now and that's anywhere from five to six knots with the legacy platform to be greater anywhere from seven, seven knots in the water. Uh, transitioning inside the vehicle right now, once again, like I said, is the survivability upgrade program is focused on force protection. Uh, we do that by a couple of different ways. One, we've got the belly armor that's on the exterior of the vehicle. Interior, we've got uh, aluminum armor that's been put on the inside, which is uh, retained on the inside of the walls to the side side, the side parts of the walls as well to include a 360 de 360 degree spall liner. To finally focus on that upgrade for force protection, we've got uh, blast mitigating seats. These blast mitigating seats, uh, what they focus on is getting the Marine's feet off the actual uh, blast. So by doing so, we've got footrest designed to keep the Marine's feet off and sailors uh, to include a five-point harness. And this seat actually, in an actual event, strokes anywhere from, uh, from zero to actually up to four inches of stroke. What that does is it doesn't allow the Marine to necessarily survive. It actually increases that ability to survive and be able to walk away with those lower extremity uh, injuries. So they're not uh, taking those. To include also a headrest. The seats, the unique thing about these seats is they actually serve as a secondary function. Uh, instead of just worrying about stepping up on bench seats, you also have the backs of the seats that you can actually step on and uh, maneuver on the top of the vehicle. Walking on the inside of the vehicle, you also have a new deck floor. This deck floor is actually about, uh, from the bottom of the hole up, is about eight inches. That also gets you and the occupancy away from the actual event of the blast. Uh, and then behind this engine panel right here, we've got actually a new engine and a new transmission. And open that up. So what we got back here is you've got a new 675 Cummins engine, you've got a, a new transmission made by KDS, and a new PTO. That's the heart of the vehicle, and that's what's really bringing a lot of success to this platform for the, due to the fact that we have about 10,000 pounds more weight uh, added to the, uh, to the vehicle. So, and then the last shot that you probably want to take a look at is if you can look up towards the front, you're actually seeing the new driver's display. That new driver's display is basically getting us into uh, current times uh, instead of having to deal with the old system that we had that was just obsolescent and uh, obsolete.